Welcome guys. So today we are going to talk about uh, AdWords API. Now, if you are an IT guy and your company has uh, something to do with AdWords, you're using AdWords or, um, you know, or maybe Bing or maybe other search engines and, and then typically you need to deal with AdWords API in case you want to really extract the data from the search engine uh, using their API interface and then build some internal systems to a better capture or better uh, using the data or doing more analysis. So this video will I will cover how to build really how to use AdWords API uh, to to ex extract the data from Google uh, so what we're going to do first is that now there are a lot of documentations on the web in the Google website and also um, other places. So I'm going to give you a quick overview. So first of all, um, to get started, you have to what all things you need is here, are, uh, simple things. Uh, you need AdWords API package. What that is, is that you go to Google site and then download the latest versions of AdWords API then you have to have uh, PHP my 5.2 or above um, in your server and you probably had uh, MySQL DB if you want to store the database uh, the records in the database which most of you probably would end up doing so the way we would do it is that uh, by the way so I made an assumption that uh, you are going to develop uh, you're going to run the you're going to write, write programs in PHP to extract the data using the API. But if you, uh, you can use also other language like, uh, you know, Python or Perl or uh, uh, Java, etc. So for this uh, video, we will just use uh, PHP. <coughs> so what we're going to do is that we're going to write some PHP programs to log in to AdWords API with our account credentials and download the data and create some files you know so that when the data gets downloaded it gets downloaded um, as flat files and then we will uh, write some programs to load the data in uh, mysql so that's uh, sort of the plan so to get started what you do is you first go to google's adwords api and then um, you go here AdWords API and then you have to figure out where the download um, option is there now on the left you would see different options so one thing to note is that now AdWords API has uh, different versions so this is if you see the latest versions would be uh, the the version names are pretty um, has a time element to it. So here this V201008 is sort of the latest. The earlier to that earlier was V201003. That probably is, looks like 2010 March. So what you do is that you download it. So you try to find the download link from somewhere. So let's click on home and so there are, there are a lot of documentations, a lot of videos. So what you click on is that click or download a client library. Okay, and then you download, let's say for we are doing PHP, so uh, PHP client library. And then go on the right and then download this. So this is a uh, tar you know this is a linux version uh, but you can install also in uh, windows so when you extract this it becomes a basically a, a set of files there is no compilation involved because this is php so w when you download and extract it <coughs> <coughs> excuse me i got a little cold uh, anyway so what when you download it so in our, my example uh, so here I have extracted the files here um, so let me quickly show you so here if you see Google uh, and then I have uh, this folder so under this folder we have 
data examples, logs, SRC. So let me walk you through uh, what you see when you extract. Um, so here, if you see, click on source, and here are the, uh, the different libraries in under V2008. Now, what you have to do is that, um, so these are sort of, you know, when you download it, you get all the uh, folders. You get the latest one on also the earlier ones. And then uh, there are also examples. So if you click on this folder, um, let's see. I think examples would be probably here. So if you click on examples, so when you extract it, you get uh, ex examples and SRC folders. So if you click on examples, uh, you would see under 2008, there's a whole bunch of examples. So now these examples are, you know, like a, let's say one would be like a get all campaigns. Uh, so let me quickly give you an overview, get all campaigns. So let's say this is, so this program would, um, would help you to log into your account and get all the campaigns. Now the the example today I'm going to cover is actually the uh, the basic uh, example which most of you probably would need is it will log into the data, it will log into the Google and extract the keyword performance report which would involve the keyword ID, keyword name and, the, and then the performance data like clicks, cost, impressions uh, and if you are storing the conversions uh, it also would pull the conversions and also a lot of other fields uh, like destination URL and max CPC and etc. So let me um, go through the steps quickly. Um, so first is that you have to download and you have to extract the library so that get installed here and then what you do is that you define two folders. You define data folder where your data would be stored. Um, and you may have to, so here, this is my folder structure. I have Google here, and I have downloaded the library and extracted, which is here. And then I have my data folder where I would be, when I run the script, it will output the files here, just like the way I have, you know, for every day I have a folder. And these are all automatically created uh, by the script. And then I have um, the the cost data. Uh, so I have the script for which this get all KW report. It's basically get the keyword performance data. Now the other thing you have to mind is is that you know you ha can have two different accounts. You can have a regular account and you can have an MCC account. MCC accounts are typically um, the account where you have multiple clients. So this keyword report example would download all the reports for, or sorry, the reports for all the clients. And then, and this example is there, it's load data into the database. So here we have uh, the script which, uh, you know, gets all the campaigns uh, for the MCC account, or sorry, for all the clients. So if your MCC has 10 uh, clients, it will get the data for all the 10 clients every day. And then you have one script which loads the data into the table. Uh, so this account, this get all KW, it will create, it will run and it will create, it will download the data and store into this file. So for it is has if you see a, I have um, uh, two accounts again these are like a, you know not, not really real life example uh, so let's say ABC I have two clients ABC and MNO and XYZ three clients so it created report for this this three so now let's look at the program um, so maybe it's because it's almost 10 minutes, so probably we'll discuss in your next video. So this video, I just wanted to give you a structure of such a program. So you have uh, one script which extracts the data and creates the files. You have another script which loads the data into the table. And then you have another script, you know, sometimes when you run, you have to load a lot of historical data. 
so then you can write a version of the this script data script and create a historical versions of the data um, so the other thing I want to show you is that uh, the DDL script which is uh, which is really the which is really the the table creation script for the MySQL table so let me open it for you so here I have uh, the table creation script so if you see ADW KW perf tele it's basically ADW stands for AdWord and then I have the primary key and then I have the client name report date which is the day of the report nonce, and then all the information as you see I'm storing I'm getting extracting lots of information I'm getting the campaign the standard stuff like ad group um, there's an ad network type which is basically uh, you know search or it is a search partner or a display um, partner so if you're advertising Google you can also advertise um, in the search network um, then I have the QR ID, QR text, match type, which is you know exact broader, and then then I have the destination URL is negative, uh, uh, which stands for whether the keyword is a negative keyword. Then the impression clicks cost. Uh, you can also have pull other things like first page CPC. Uh, so this is uh, it's for that keyword. What is the first page CPC? Then the max CPC, average position. So in the next video, we will discuss about the uh, programs. Uh, and then I have another table, uh, which is uh, the revenue data. So typically, in a, most of the places where you have, you're not really storing the revenue information in Google. So what we do is that, what most of the times happen is that you have your internal uh, revenue data, and then you, ha you download the cost data, and then merge the revenue data with the cost data to really decide the profitability of each of the keywords what that means is that you know this keyword costs this much and then the keyword brings the revenue this much so what is my profitability and then you can once you have the data you can use it for uh, you know doing your bidding uh, rules uh. so with that we will talk uh, next time about the scripts thank you